Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I think my favorite feature of iPhone 2.0, the OS that I have running on my original iPhone, is the App Store. How they've built it, how they've made it so simple for you to not only just find, but also download and install applications. Whether you've, you know, got a, 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 an application that you want to buy or whether it's free. Either way, it's easy to install. Let me see here. What applications do I not have yet? Well, I don't have Eventful, so let's go in since that's free. I click it. I can scroll down. I can see a screenshot. That looks nice. It'll tell me all the events that are happening in a certain area. It's got nine reviews so far at four stars. But here's the thing. you got to ignore the star ratings, I think, in the iPhone store, or I guess the App Store, or just really iTunes in general, because a lot of them are idiots. The people that leave reviews, like one guy said, gave it like one star. He says, "Oh, God, you know, I'd like this, but I can't buy, I can't afford it." It was like a five dollar app. I'm like, dude, if you can't afford a five dollar app, you can't afford an iPhone or an iPod Touch to begin with. So he gave it a one star, even though it, it, it wasn't warranted at all. So ignore the ratings you see there and just go buy reviews that you find on the web. So up here. It says the price is free, so I'm going to press free, and then it changes the button to install. I'll press install, and right away, it asks me for my iTunes password, which I'm going to dip down here, and uh, I've got to turn it away right now because right in this new version with the password, it actually uh, echoes the last character you typed. And so that is potentially a little bit good, a little bit bad. I think probably more bad than good. So right now it's downloading and installing the Eventful application. It pops you back into your, well, I guess your springboard. Is that what they call this thing? The, I don't know, your, your menu in the iPhone. Um, it's installing right now. When I sync it back with iTunes, it should pick up that I already have this app installed. That's been a little quirky for me today, though. Uh, then as soon as it's downloaded and installed, in theory, I should be able to launch and play with it straight away. Uh, and that's what's nice about it is I could be out and about and someone could show me an app that they have and they say, hey, check this out. I got this app. And I'm like, oh, that's great. How, where'd you get it? So where'd you get in the app? I, 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 it's called this. Go, go and do it. So I'd get online, go to the app store, and so long as the app was a certain size, I could get it um, over the air whether it's a Wi-Fi connection or an edge connection or, well, if you're on a 3G iPhone, then, then certainly that. So uh, now it's installing, and while it's installing, uh, let me try not to reset my... Uh, hang on. There we, there we go. Now it's doing it. I couldn't get it there. i got to wait till it's... Apparently my iPhone really doesn't want to be... There we go. You think that's funny? Wait till I put this in my pocket, turn it on, and start jumping down the street. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So let's go back. Looks like Eventful's now been installed. I'll click that icon, and with any luck, we'll be able to browse what's going on in our neck of the woods. So we say search, or wait, do I need to sign in? I need to sign in first. We're joined now. It's free. So I won't be able to show you, but that's how easy it was to install. I do have an eventful account, however, I'm not going to log in right now. I think the, the point was well taken. Oh, by the way, here's a, an astronomy app that will uh, let you see uh, what, uh, uh, what constellations are in the sky. You just drag the map around. Uh, it's a little laggy. It's a little slow, slower than I would have expected it to be. Uh, but I can easily search for planets in the sky, press it, and then it'll point in the direction that I want to turn or look. So it's useful, it's functional, but they definitely have to optimize this app for speed. Uh, I, I'm glad I bought it because, you know, every once in a while I do need to, uh, a guide and I'll have my phone with me so it'll work quite well. Um, I don't know if there's really anything else I wanted to show you at this point. I just want to show you how easy it was to install an application and I, I did want to, to show, actually what I'm going to do is, is this. Give me a second. I'm going to go wide. And as I'm going wide, let me open up this again, hit start. Is it working yet?
Nat's falling into my pocket. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> if you really want some disruptive behavior, turn that on, take it with you, and then put it in your pocket and, and uh, <laughs> bounce through a store. Uh, go. In fact, what you should do is you should walk into the Apple store and bounce around with this and grab like 10 friends and take over a mall and just all start hopping down the mall. It's a free application. I love it. World 9. You have to download it. Free. Available at Apple's uh, App Store in iTunes 7.7 7 or higher. Anyway, I wanted to show off how easy it was and how fun an iPhone could be. Uh, if you have any other tips, tricks, tweaks, you know, apps, pass along. My email address is chris at perillo.com. And I, usually throughout the day, you'll find me sitting here in front of these big screens. Oh, look, it's sharks. Can you see the sharks from that far away? I don't know if you can. I may have to turn the screen there. Now, can you see the sharks? They're swimming here. Love my screensavers. Love my screens. Love my iPhone, and I love you too. So stop by. Say hello. Chat it up with the rest of us geeks at live.perillo.com. We'll uh, eat you later.